Uh, yo, Silvio, it looks as though they already have a ridge vent, but it's like the crappy kind that doesn't breathe very well. And if it is a ridge vent, which it probably is because there's no other vents on the entire house, then uh, it needs to be that tire profile one that's going to breathe because this one just has a bunch of moss clogging up every pore. Um, it, does it look like there's going to be any plywood needed maybe over here over the garage the back side and then my second question is I think possibly they need a couple more um, intakes drilled in up here they have some nice ones here but they're spaced out a really wide maybe we should go right in the middle and put a small one in on each of these because they're in the middle and then each of these because they're in the middle and maybe the same thing on the front I see on the, this is at the garage, they don't have any intakes on the garage. Obviously it's because there's no, you know, it's the garage and it's kind of vaulted and there's storage in there. Uh, probably no insulation. But should we add any in the garage? That's a question, I need an answer. And then it looks like, looks like if we were gonna add some in between these bigger ones on the back side, we would add a total of eight on the back side. Then we could add on the front side like one, two, three over here uh, before we get to the big overhang. And then in this overhang area, maybe we add one that looks just like these two in between the two of them. So three of those little pop-in ones over there and then one kind of regular size one right in the middle here. I think if we add the intakes on both front and back and we change the ridge vent from what it has now to the way taller kind like that I have at my house um, then it should suck the air up there and cause it to not deteriorate the roof so fast.